A heart attack is essentially when the heart ceases to beat rhythmically. The heart normally beats like this, but when you get a heart attack, the heart begins to what we call fibrillate. In today's video, I would like to speculate the reasons why this could have happened and what lessons we can learn from it. Christian Eriksen, as of filming this video, is still in hospital and not yet out of the woods. Bear in mind, these are my thoughts, just thinking out loud as to what are the possible reasons that could lead to this unfortunate incident. Christian Eriksen is a top level footballer, creme de la creme, one of the top athletes in the world. It is obvious that he might have been screened for any heart condition. Athletes at this top level of sport are screened for heart anomalies, both physical and also genetic. However, there could be a possibility that his condition could not be diagnosed and therefore he has received a false negative. Another reason I can think about is relevant to our times. Could it be a post-COVID complication? It is known that COVID also causes inflammation of the heart. Therefore, it is very important that after you have recovered from COVID that you do not push your heart out to the maximum. Take it slowly for at least the first three months after your disease. This one could be a little bit controversial, but it is just a thought. Could it be a complication of myocarditis after the vaccine? In India, you need not worry because it is known that mRNA vaccines have a chance of causing myocarditis, especially in younger individuals. We do not have details of this as of now, but this is mere speculation. So it is important as well that you do not exert yourself too much after a vaccine. It could also be a viral myocarditis, not related to COVID at all. This is something that could happen to anybody. Another very rare condition I can think about is idiopathic myocarditis. The exact cause of this myocarditis is not known, but this condition is very rare. A big lesson we should learn from this unfortunate incident is that all of us need some knowledge of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. These insights of mine were good. Wishing Ericsson a speedy recovery. Like, subscribe. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Signing out, Dr. Rohan Fonseca.